Greetings and welcome back to this war of mine, day 42. Now let's see if uh, Chaotocles has decided that we should have a different event this time. Same kind of, oh, seems that Bruno is starting to feel a bit unwell. Oh, okay. So, uh, our cat burglar is fine this time, really? Oh, okay, well, that's fair enough then. I accept that 100%. Right, Bruno, where are you? Let's uh, get you over there, get you with some herbal meds. Uh, Marin, we'll get you up here. You can continue work on... Actually, why don't you work on that instead? Uh, it's time for you to have a kip as well, so let's get you down there. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Now, Marin, we are going to need a bit more vegetables. So go ahead and turn eight of these vegetables. Uh, yeah, turn eight of the vegetables into fertilizer. Now we've got some food over there as well. Go grab that. We'll do this quickly. We'll also get you to cook before we uh, wrap this up and send you down to sleep for the night. Uh, that way we will have plenty of food tomorrow. We're going to have to cook two separate meals. Go grab that food down there as well. Wow, we've we've seriously got a crazy amount of uh, meat there. These traps, when they actually proc before two days, can end up being really, really quite lucrative. And they're still almost there. Right, go cook, and then you can go and have a sleep. Soon. Very soon. Where's... Uh, where is she? Uh, go ahead and make two of these, please. I appear to have lost someone. Are you, are you both sleeping on the same bed? I, I mean... <laughs> you were. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I apologize. I shouldn't have... Ah, uh, I feel bad now. Man. You know, they don't get many opportunities to, to find a little bit of, uh, quiet us time, but then I go ruining it. I, I'm really sorry. That was very rude of me. Damn it, Marin, why didn't you tell me? Ah, oh, drat. We need to uh, make more fuel, I think. Not sure what we were making here. Hopefully fuel. Yes, it was fuel. Okay, well, in that case, Marin, go get some uh, fuel on the fire, because we definitely need it. There's one, there's two, there's... as soon as we've got three, there we go. Alright, you go ahead and continue work on these. We've got one, that's fine. As soon as Bruno is finished there, I will have him go and sleep. Should have enough time then for the rest of the day. And he should be off in just a moment. Actually, you can go down and uh, listen to the radio. We need food. Oh, you'll have some food tomorrow. Today is not a food day. You know this. Alright, there we are. Uh, we led to believe that international peacekeepers. We've already read that one. Classical music. What about this? Same. Yep. So we're back to the classical music then. Right. Time for you to go and have a quick sleep. And, uh, oh, it looks like uh, you're done sleeping. Very well. Uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, we could have you go and make some filters. I believe that's going to be the same whoever makes it. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go for the filters. We'll grab another seven, eight of them. And we'll have you make for that rainwater still. There we are. We should be good. Actually, we've got to wait for that one to be made first. There we go. Everything is going according to plan. And tonight... I'm a little concerned, but... I guess I'm drawing things out because I, I, I'm worried about sending her to the brothel. I mean, for two reasons. Uh, but... No. I... I think it has to be done. Okay, end the day. We don't need to wait for the rest of the time. The, what? Really? The, really? We're five minutes into the video. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, uh, we, we didn't wait until day 46. Ah, 
Buried alive, a shell hit a nearby tenement and some people were trapped under the rubble. Pavle helped pull them out on day four. Day ten, father and child. Marco helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to his sh sick child. Day eleven, aid request. We gave away some goods to help the hospital. Oh, this is... this is a nice touch going over what we did. Day 14, plea for help. Our neighbour felt unsafe and asked us to help her board up the windows. We did that. Day 19, saving life. Our neighbour's children asked us for medication for her. We shared the little we had with them. Day 24, hungry children. The children where we had helped earlier came to ask us for some food, but we couldn't help them. Day 24, Marco died. Marco was killed while looking for supplies. Day 27. Pavle died because he couldn't live without Marco. <sighs> Day 29. A sniper's victim. Our neighbour's brother got wounded by a sniper's bullet. Bruno helped carry him to safety. Day 40. Neighbours in need. Our friendly neighbours came to ask us for help in reinforcing their shelter. We were happy to help them. Day 42. Ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fight in Impogorin. Those who managed to survive the war in Glalala would never something or other. I completely missed that. Oh, we get we get a story as well. Oh, that's, that's really... <laughs> we don't know what Marco or Pavle's story was. After the ceasefire, Bruno set off looking for his friend. Her neighbourhood saw heavy fighting and the majority of housing had been reduced to ruins. But she found shelter in the basement which somehow held. Despite the hardship, she managed to survive and was happy to see Bruno alive as well. They remain friends to this day. Surviving the war, Marin set about finding the boy who once brightened his day. His efforts provided, uh, proved futile, so he rebuilt his house and kept the action, uh, the action figure in the shop window. See, I don't know what this story is, I guess because he wasn't with us for long enough? And one winter afternoon, the entrance bell rang and a familiar smile once again filled Marin's workshop and his life with light. Oh, I'm really happy that Marin... Marin actually found his light at the end of it. After the war, Arika gave her father a symbolic funeral and kept his picture. Despite the horrors she witnessed, she managed to start a family and tried to be a better parent than her father had been. Well done in breaking the cycle. Boris won over everything that war threw at him and used his grit and strength to help others rebuild their lives. The memory of Anna's sacrifice and Luca's faith supported him till the end of his day. See, this is really interesting because I don't know the starting part to these stories because uh, uh, these people weren't with us long enough. Marco, for all his efforts, Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughter will find it someday on condition that they manage to survive the persecutions themselves. Oh, that is tragic. And sadly, Pavle died. Will his family come back to Progoren to visit his grave one day? Or would it be too painful? A reminder of what they had gone through. Do the dead even care? Oh, wow. The last bit there actually gave me, like, uh, goosebumps. That was, that was incredibly poignant. Well... That is the end to the stories there, and it looks like it's just going to dump us straight back out. Oh, we've got the epilogue. Perhaps we can go back there and have a look. Is, is that what it allows us to do, or is it something different? Maybe. I don't know. Let's have a quick glance. The war is over. Is it exactly the same? Yeah, I think, I think it's just going through this once again. Well, that was an interesting game. I'm going to say it was a good game. A really, really good game. I I hazard to say I enjoyed it, although I did. I enjoyed the mechanics of the game. I, I actually enjoyed the care that was taken to express the ideas that the developers had for this game. It still feels awkward saying I enjoyed a game that, that is this gritty about war, but I did. And as much as I'm sad that we weren't able to, <laughs> for, for what it counts, get a perfect run, 
there's a part of me that feels that that actually adds a little bit more weight to the playthrough, in a way. I am really impressed with this game, and I think it's a game that I will be coming back to. There are more, um, there's much more content to the game. As a few people have said in the comments, there are numerous other uh, events. Uh, apparently some have said there's at least two events per location that you can visit, and they're just randomly generated. When you visit them, you'll get that event. And apparently some, some places change after you've been there once. Uh, that does offer quite a lot of replayability in and of itself. But in addition to that, there's a whole different starting location that offers different challenges to try and uh, fortify the house, try and get to things, um, different things you need to clear out. I would be interested in seeing how this could go, especially because you can also select what group. Now, since the game has come out, they, they've adjusted the, the beginning where you can pick a, a specific group of people to start the run. I don't think you can literally pick each individual person, but rather you, you can select a pre-put-together team. For example, um, Pavle and Bruno, I think, are quite often together, or it might have been Pavle and Marco. Um, but I, I strongly suspect... Now, this isn't going to be the end to this War of Mine on my channel. I, I imagine I'm going to be coming back to this. I'm armed with the knowledge that I now have about how the game works. Because at the end, uh, I, I've got to point out again, this was a blind run, which is why some of the mistakes were made. But uh, it would be interesting to see how we fare if I come at this with the knowledge that I already have now, that I've that I've managed to, to glean from playing this game. Whether we'd, we'd see everyone make it to the end or not but again i don't know there was it, marco's death i still i still kind of feel a little bit weird about that one because that was more of a game crash but pavle's death i don't know it, it added something to the playthrough i think that we lost someone but uh, that sounds horrible to say it but that is the end of uh, this war of mine. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and, in fact, watching me play through this game. And I hope you look forward to what I play next. It won't be this war of mine. I'll, I'll give it at least a little bit of a break before I jump straight back into it. My emotions need a little bit of time to recover. But uh, hopefully, I'll see you there. But until then, and as always, do take care.